guys welcome back to my channel e study today we will learn binary search tree that is abbreviated as bst its properties and construction so let's begin with binary search tree properties here in the first property the left subtree of a node contains the node's value lesser than its own value for example if we construct a binary subtree with node value 5 then all the node values in the left subtree should be less than this 5 and all the values in the right subtree should be equal to and greater than this 5 that is declared in steps 2 or in property 2. The right subtree of a node contains the node's value larger than or equal to its own value. At the same time, the left and the right subtree each must also be the binary subtree. So the left subtree as well as the right subtree must maintain the BST properties. Then we can say that the tree is binary search tree. So let's move with some example. Here in figure 1, is it a binary search tree? No, it's not because for this node 5, the left child is 7 which is higher than its parent. So it does not maintain the BST property. That's why it's not a binary search tree. However, in the right side, in figure 2, for the node 6, the left child is lesser than the node 6 and the right child is larger than the node 6. Similarly, in 4, the left subtree, all the values larger than the 4 and all the values larger than the 4 and here for 2 the left child is 1 which is smaller and the right child is 3 which is larger so it meant in every position or in every node it maintains the PST property that's why this tree is a PST binary search tree let's look at the figure 3 here the vertices are labelized alphabetically. So, for the vertex D in the left subtree, all the nodes are smaller B, A, and C, means comes before in the alphabetic order. And the right subtree, all the nodes comes after the alphabetic order. Alphabetic order. However, at node F in the right subtree, the E comes after here but in the actual alphabetic order the E comes before F so it does not maintain the binary search tree property so it's not a binary search tree so if we redraw this figure where F children is E in the left child so it maintains the binary search property because the E comes before the F in alphabetic order. So I think you understand the binary search tree. Now we should construct a binary search tree using some nodes. So here are some numerical nodes and here are some alphabetic nodes. So let's let us start with the first one which is numerical node 7 then 10 we should compare with the root value so our next item is 10 which is larger than the root value 7 so it will be the right child now 4 we should compare with the root value 7 and 4 is smaller than the root value so we should go left and then 15 we should start comparing at the root value so 15 is higher than 7 so we should go here and check 15 is larger than 10 so we should insert 15 here then 13 
again started 7 13 is larger than 7 so we should move in the right side then compare with 10 13 is larger than 10 so we should move to the right child and compare with 15 13 is less than 15 so we should third add 13 here then the 2 we should compare with the root value 7 so 2 is less than the 7 so we should move in the left child then compare with 4 2 is less than the 4 so we should insert these two as a left child now 6 which is less than 7 so we should move in left and compare with 4 6 is larger than 4 so we should add 6 here now 22 is greater than 7 and then compare with 10 is greater than 10 move right compare with 15 greater than 15 so add as a right child now the next node the last node is 4 less than the 7 so we should go left and here is equal to 4 so in binary search tree property the node should be larger or equal to that node goes to the right side so we should move right and here where the 4 is less than the 6 so we should insert 4 here so we construct the binary search tree that maintains all of its properties now we will draw another binary search tree using this alphabetic values the first is f then g so g comes after f so we should go in the right then b b comes before f so we should write here in the at the left child and then d uh, d in alphabetic order so it comes before f so we should go left and it's come after b so we should go right here then a a comes before f so we should go left and compare with b a comes before b so we should insert here as a left child now i i comes after f so we should go in the right side and compare with g i comes after g so we should add here h so h comes after f so we should go right now compare with g h comes after j so we should go right compare with right i mean i h comes before i so we should place h in the left child then e e comes before f so we should go left that is b compare with b e comes after b so we should go right in the right compare with g e comes after t so it should be in the right child so this is the bst binary search tree for this not. So I think all of you understand the binary search tree properties and also its construction. Now pause the video and try yourself. Are the following two graphs BST or not? The graph 1 and graph 2. And write your answer in the comment box. I'll reply right away. I think you all have understand the binary search tree properties and its construction still if you have any questions please leave your question in the comment box i'll try my best to answer all of your queries thank you very much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe my channel